My name is Sally Lightfoot. I live on a volcano in the Galapagos Islands, and this is my story of the day the earth shook. One day, while I was crawling amid the crevices, I felt the ground begin to move and tremble. I scurried to find safety, but the shaking ground was making it very hard for me to hold on, even with my many legs. I looked down to the crashing waves below and feared that I would soon be thrown into the raging waters. As the trembling increased in intensity, I knew that I could hold on no longer. And then it happened. I felt myself floating down into a beautiful blue watery world. I was immediately greeted by a hawksbill turtle. After introducing myself, I asked if he could help show me the way back to the rocks from where I'd fallen. Certainly, just follow me, he told me. But he was a good swimmer, and I, being a crab, could not keep up. I fell to the sandy ocean bottom where I found a distant cousin, a hermit crab. He too listened intently to my story and suggested I speak with the stingray who was wise in the ways of the ocean. Oh dear, I must have startled him because he flapped his beautiful wings and with a flurry of sand flew away. The swirling drumfish was shaking her head. He is such a scaredy ray, she said. It was hard to talk to her because she kept swimming back and forth. Finally, she told me to go down the tunnel and look for a gray angel. I left her swimming in circles. I came upon the elegant angelfish while she was having dinner. Excuse me. Could you direct me to the shoreline? I fell into the ocean when the ground began to shake. I've never seen the shore, she told me, but I have a very knowledgeable neighbor, and she swam away. There's a strong current coming, the neighboring fish whispered in my ear. Perhaps it will take you back to shore. Suddenly I found myself being swept around in circles with zillions of fish. Whoosh! As I sailed past a hungry-looking shark and into the open ocean alongside a majestic eagle ray. Would you know the way back to the shoreline, I ask? The humpback will help you. He's coming up now, he said. And as he swam away, I saw the humpback approaching. When the whale jumped out of the water and splashed back down, he created giant waves which carried me to shore. A playful sea lion nudged me onto land. My mother will help you find your way home, he said. Go ask the old tortoises to give you directions, the mama sea lion told me as she lay nursing her baby. When, at last, I found the tortoises, they were quite happy to point the way to the rocky shoreline, although they were having their differences. When you see the iguanas, you'll be almost home. And the old tortoise ambled away. Can you show me the way to the rocky shore where my family lives? I ask a passing iguana. Eek! The tail is dangerous. I think he wants me to follow him. He's going so fast. I've just got to keep up. This is very rough terrain and no time to fall behind. I think I see my friends up ahead. What a story I am going to have to tell them. A story about the day the earth shook.